Hello and uh, good morning to you. Well, my name is Neil, I'm the uh, proprietor here at Bath Cars and um, this is a little video tour of this Mitsubishi Pajero. Uh, hopefully it'll show you uh, some detail and a little bit more information about it. So for starters then this is a uh, car that's just come in part exchange, it's the Pajero Exceed 2.8 turbo diesel automatic 5 door long wheelbase 7 seater. Uh, finished in silver over green and uh, it's really pretty nice actually it's uh, still looking very sharp for itself uh, even though it was first manufactured in 1995 it was first brought into the country in 2003 and uh, it has virtually everything on it uh, it's very easy to drive actually even though it's a, such a big car exceptionally light power steering has uh, never had a tow bar on it by the looks of it uh, just the standard um, step at the back there there's the spare wheel cover with a little mark in the back there there's also another little mark in there as well uh, the bump has got a small indentation in it although it hasn't broken the chrome and there are a little greys just to this uh, corner also but it looks pretty sharp though if the overall picture is good um, the car has alloy wheels with tyres on it which have got plenty of tread there's um, well a good uh, best part of a centimetre of tread in those I would have thought it's got the side steps, the chromed rear view mirrors, obviously the small little uh, rear view mirror which you normally get with the Japanese import cars. It's got the chromed nudge bars on the front as well, also sporting tax until the end of February 2008. M65OFX is the registration number if you want to check it all out. And uh, all the tyres are good, I've driven the car now for uh, a good half hour, it drives very well, I was very impressed with the overall drive of it and uh, I can't really fault it mechanically, it starts first time, it's got the, do, the two twin batteries on it which you've got plenty of uh, muscle to turn her over and start her on the button. In the back here, great big door, uh, there is a uh, little parcel of uh, spare parts etc for the car, there's the seven seats in the back there and they all fold up and get out of the way if you want to uh, run it as a standard estate car. It's got a nice big electric sunroof, air conditioning and tinted glass, you can see all the windows have been tinted in typical for just sort of Japanese import car uh, it's got over mats and carpets so there's uh, over mats and carpets yeah. Uh, cup holders and centre armrests and all sorts of uh, goodies seats will fold down dead easy like that there's your two rear seats in the back there OK I'm just trying to work out how that opens it there we go, cup holder and armrest in the back there very comfortable for travelling uh, some distance in mind. I was going to show you this all, uh, electronic system in the back here for uh, air conditioning and ventilation for the back seats here. Okay, let's uh, jump in the back. It's got this 2.8 turbo diesel unit which pulls well and an automatic uh, four speed auto. It's got the usual high and low ratio, electric windows all around, electric aerial. It's got a towed remote alarm system with immobiliser. Just press the button, that opens all the doors and resets the immobiliser. And then she starts up on the button. Oh, that's the alarm. Oh, press the right button. There we go. Six degrees outside, it's got the compass and the tilt and inclometer, etc. So it looks like a three speed auto box various switches, soft and hard suspension settings, CD from Sony, uh, power steering, there's a, a, a leather uh, steering wheel cover that's been put on, I don't know what the steering wheel's like underneath, I assume it's in good order, it's done 160,000 kilometres, 790, that's kilometres, and although the gauge has been turned to miles per hour on the outer side, so that's fine. Um, I assume all the high and low ratio works okay, there's the uh, gear knob there, for all that, little cup holders again, Pajero, this lovely big sunroof, which works fine, lovely great big sunroof, the heater's all working nicely, all the lights work fine, the aircon works fine as well, there you can hear the engine revving up nicely, in fact it's still mechanically in very good order I would say this car, electric windows, electric mirrors, I think they may be folding, let's have a quick look are they? Yeah, they fold. Okay, so that's quite nifty. Both mirrors fold. Okay, all electric windows all around. Overdrives actually is a uh, it's three-speed with overdrive. There we go, overdrive on there. 
Uh, right, what else can we say? I mean, it's really well specced up, really. So it's air conditioning. Has it got cruise control? Uh, doesn't look like it's got cruise. Electric mirrors, electric windows, rear wiper. Oh, what's that there? That's heated rear screen, sorry. Uh, rear wiper. There we go, rear wiper. See that working in the back there? Okay, all the usual washers and wipers. That indicator's working fine, there's the wipers. Okay. It's a clean car inside, the seats are nice. No horrible odours or smells. Just general wear and tear for this sort of age. As you'd expect, a 13-year-old car, 12, 13-year-old car. It's got the side steps as well. All the right bits for that. Longish MOT, as you'll see in the service history, which we'll go to now.